Hi guys, it's Mesa with Polish It Off and Kim's Made, and I have so much going on right now. So, right down the road from me, a secondhand store has been closing. The lady's going to take care of her mom, um, so they're all moving, and it's a whole thing. But she's got to clear out that place, and she has given me, very generously, a lot of clothing. So I have tons of merchandise that I am not prepared to house at all. Um, I went down and I bought about $100 worth and then I went down and bought another $200 worth, got it home and I was like, wow, I don't have enough bins and the bins that I do have don't have locking lids and I don't want all this stuff in my unfinished basement. Um, that's just not going to work for the long term. So. I went ahead and did an expedition during COVID and looked for bins, and this is what I was able to come up with. So of course I had to start by shopping the house, and I had these empty bins that my sister-in-law had picked up for us. Uh, we intended to store some craft items in it, some nail polish stuff. Um, and they have all of these little individual compartments, so I'm going to start to put jewelry in them. Um, I'm sure I have enough jewelry to fill two of these cases. Once I get it all listed, um, it will go in here. The other one I left downstairs, it's already full. And this has a really firm locking case and a handle, which I really like for small stuff. Then, of course, these big bins. Um, are huge bins, how much? Like 27 gallons. I was able to find these at Office Depot for nine dollars. They happen to be on sale. I think though normally they're only about 12, which is great because if you go to Lowe's um, or Walmart, pretty much everything that looks like that is about 23, 24, 25 dollars. They're nice and rugged, but you can't see what's inside. They stack really, really nicely. They travel well if you do any sort of um, events, vendor events. Um, they go, they have a really tight fitting lid that locks. Um, I'm sure you can't see in there. But um, keeps everything secure, even in the back of the pickup. I don't have any trouble losing the lid, anything flying out. But you can't see inside, and they're really big. And because I don't have any shelving system, I'm going to have to stack things. And once that's full, it's going to be really hard for me to maneuver. So the things that are going to go in there are things that are my dead stock, dead pile, um, that I haven't gotten to just to secure it, keep, you know, vermin and dust out. That's what's going to go in there. And I probably need, you know, <laughs> five more of them, but I'm so cheap, I only picked up two. Then I was able to find these banker's boxes, not banker's boxes, filing, filing boxes, I'm going to call them banker's boxes. So they are actually for hanging, well, hanging folders. Well, here, let me show you this one because it's, so it has a lip here for hanging files. So I have little hanging files that are like that. Um, they go in this way. If you have the legal, legal length they would fit across this way. So what I decided to do for my first project of packing these up was I put boys shorts and I just stacked them in there and I can even use the little tabs that come with these. There's little labels that stick up, um, file folder labels, and I could put like women's, you know, I could put like boys, girls, or I could put kids, women's, men's, um, Probably going to outgrow my box pretty fast, but I thought they were kind of a nice size for that. And they're, I'm, you know, they're like see-through. I can locate things pretty quickly. I can't put so much in it that I can't move them. And they do actually stack very nicely, and they are lidded. Um, and then, of course, I went to the Dollar Tree and got a bunch of these just little shoebox size things for a dollar each. So anyway, I didn't get nearly as many as I need, but it'll get me started and get all of my merchandise out of these unlidded bins. <laughs> and um, it's going to look great when I'm finished, but right now not so much. <laughs> 